you have a dream, you can make it happen right here in Sioux City. That's how confident I am that if you really want to do something, Sioux City is a place to do it. I believe in Sioux City. I love Sioux City. I am Sioux City. Tony Drake has lived in Sioux City since he was a kid. He's accomplished a lot in the community, but it all began from an interesting place. I would have never got into boxing had I not been bullied as a kid. Drake says it was being picked on for being biracial that brought him into the ring. Boxing taught me about temperance and about people and how everybody's a little different and your, your ethnicity means nothing. When you are like me, you got, you know, you're black, you're Italian. So it, it doesn't mean a lot because there's really not any place you can go. Drake won numerous awards for boxing and in 1966 took his skills to the Army. I got to fight some of those people representing the Army over there in Vietnam. So that kind of saved me a little bit. But hey, I had my last fight in Vietnam. Uh, my 13th fight on Friday the 13th. <laughs> so I was a little superstitious, but I won the fight. Once he hung up his gloves, Drake moved on to share his talent with young people from backgrounds similar to his. The fact that I could teach that to someone else was really good because I was passing on something that, a gift that I had gotten from someone else. And these people were in similar situations. They were always getting picked on. So they came to my boxing program. Drake eventually used the life lessons he learned from boxing to become an entrepreneur. It's kind of crazy to go from boxing to cooking. I mean, who does that? Drake opened two businesses, Tony's Professional Services and Tony's Barbecue. One still exists today. My dad was in a janitorial business. And I swore once I got away from that and got out of school, I'd never do it again. Here I am, still doing the kind of cleaning that people <coughs> have to have. As a businessman, Drake decided to throw his hat into the political ring. In 1999, he ran for Sioux City City Council. He won, and I was in shock. Here I was going to be the first minority on the city council in Sioux City, Iowa. I never, I mean, that was such a big dream for me. I, I guess I was, and I was kind of numb, even after they told me that I had won the election. It was an experience, Drake says, that will last a lifetime. I'm proud and tickled that I had been privileged enough to be able to go and do the things I did. It was, being on city council was fun because I learned a lot about people and I learned a lot about politics and pressure and uh, a lot of good times and sometimes they weren't so good because we were arguing about everyday rights for citizens and you know citizens don't always do the right thing. From his days as a boxer to his days on the city council, Drake says Sioux City has changed. It's, uh, more diverse now than it ever has been but <clears throat> even today as it is diverse that it is, we still have the racial thing going on, but I think education is what's going to cure that. Drake says if he had to do it all over again, he wouldn't change a thing. I'm very blessed. I, when my time comes and I'm going to be done on earth, I will have been full circle with a lot of people that have touched me and a lot of people that I have touched. And I feel so fortunate. That's something money can't buy. In Sioux City, Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News.